Welcome to Norfolk Perspective City Slice. I'm Bob Batcher. It's that time of year, and I feel like breaking into song, but we're going to talk about crime prevention instead, because this is Norfolk Perspective City Slice. Officer Joanne Hughes, how are you doing? I'm doing well, sir. How You're are you? You're a crime prevention officer, yes. so you spend all of your time out there preventing it so that you don't have to arrest it. To some degree, sure. Does it work? Uh, uh, sure, it does. When people are actively um, keeping themselves from becoming victims, it okay, does help. Well, then you just went right to the core because that's your job to keep us safe, isn't it? It is, absolutely. But there's 750 officers. There's many more citizens than there are officers. We can't be, unfortunately, we can't be everywhere. A lot of citizens are shopping this time of year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, unfortunately, we do have officers in the mall, um, but we can't be everywhere within the malls. Right now, so are you telling us that we should be a little nervous about going out? No, absolutely not. Okay. We don't want you to be nervous at all. Um, it's a wonderful time of year to go out and shop. Um, and we want you to go out and enjoy all the facility. Yeah, spending a lot of money is what it is. <laughs> festivities. Festivities. There we go. Thank you. Uh, with I can the city say it, but I never get invited to it. I don't understand. Why is that? But I don't know. <laughs> so we want you to go out and enjoy all that stuff. But... Um, you know, you can do some things to help prevent yourself from becoming a victim. Uh, we want you to be aware of your surroundings. Uh, we want you to keep your windows and your doors locked at home. Keep a couple lights on inside your home, especially if you're going shopping okay. at night. So keep it lit up. Sure, absolutely. Criminals don't like light. They want to be kept in the dark. So if your home is dark, that's a perfect opportunity for them. So, you know, lights on around the outside of your home, lights on inside your home. We're all shopping, buying new merchandise. Things are in our home that are brand new. A lot of new electronics and things like that. Criminals know that also. So you don't want to become a victim at home, nor do you want to become a victim when you're out shopping. Um, and some of the things that you can do while you're shopping, obviously, are being aware of your surroundings, making sure your car is locked as you go into the malls and into the shopping centers to shop. Um, cash. You know, if you're going to carry cash, okay. you don't want to carry large amounts of cash. Um, if you are someone that does pay with uh, cash, keep your cash separate if you are carrying large amounts. Um, we also don't recommend that you carry more than one or two or three credit cards. Three is kind of the max. Um, okay, so kind of plan ahead. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, if you're going to MacArthur, there's not a Sears at MacArthur. So if you've got a Sears card, why do you need to take it? Yeah, so you kind of have some Joanne, idea that where kind you of, are. That stuff kind of makes sense. Isn't that shocking? Yeah, it does. That's really what it's it, all it, about. It, and it is. A lot of these tips aren't anything new. These are all things that we really know deep down. We've heard these things, you know, but this is just a great time of year to reiterate those things. Okay, it's not just the shop. I mean, it's going out to those festivities. And Absolutely. It never fails. I don't understand this, but... My wife will put on something that's got black shoes, and she's got the brown purse all loaded up. So on, I yeah, see you're smiling. So on the way to the party or whatever we're going, she's switching purses out. Mm -hmm. And then we have this discussion. What do I do with that empty purse? Trunk? Oh, under absolutely, the, absolutely. The, okay. In the trunk. We really don't want you putting anything. We've got that that saying in the police department: if it's in sight, it can take flight. So you don't want to put anything under the seat of your car. Just because you, you think you can't see it, uh, different angles you might get out and look in one window, but maybe a different angle you can see the handles of the purse. We really want you to secure your items in the trunk. Okay, so I open the trunk. I put, I mean, everybody knows what I'm doing. I put my wife's purse in the trunk. But it's still it's probably... It's still safe. It's still safer than you know putting it under the seat. Okay. This is the one I love. They gave me a list. I see And you, you've hit the list pretty good. Yeah. The GPS apparatus, mobile chargers. Right. You got that little ring on the windshield? Right, right. Yeah, somewhere in there. It could be. You know, okay. a lot of, and, and that's the thing. We really, we just really try to stress, don't leave anything of value in sight. Uh, these GPS systems, so many people put them on the window of their car. It's not necessary. Uh, they're still going to pick up the satellite if it's, if it's sitting in the console. But if you put it on, on that window, on that front windshield, you know, take your thumb and kind of rub that little, that little squeaky hole that's still sitting there. Um, and take it down and put it in your glove box. Lock your glove box. And okay. that way that thing is secure. Out of sight. And, and the, the cables. 
you know, wrap the cables up and get them out of there, out of the way, so okay. they're not seen also. Because you know the car next to you might have all that stuff hanging out there, so it's no sense breaking into a car to look for something. Correct. If you see it, you can go get it. Correct. The, okay, speaking of the car, this one, I think, uh, I think uh, Moravia put this one on the list just for me. Uh, make note of where you park your vehicle. Right. Are you saying that people lose their cars? Have you? Has that ever happened to you? Not that I'm going to admit. I know. We talked about that. <laughs> and you're one of those people that walking around with the key fob going like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> that's the whole reason for the panic button because the driver that's is it. panicking. Yeah. Okay. Right. So why would you make? I mean, well, because if you've got a lot of packages and you're going out to your car, you get so much you know you'll have tunnel vision walking around so busy looking for your car you're not paying attention so much to your surroundings because you're just thinking about that mm -hmm. vehicle and trying to find your car um, so you really need to pay attention to where you park and of course if you're parking in a in a shopping center area you want to park where it's well lit right and now, now you had mentioned earlier in talking with me that about uh the keeping you know maybe shedding the bags as you shop so take them back to your car some people do that you know uh, you may have a ton of shopping to do so you've, you're loaded down you're going back out to your car and you're opening your trunk and securing all that stuff in the trunk of your car it's probably a good idea to move your car just in case somebody just in case someone's standing around they're kind of watching you uh, and you're giving the appearance that you're leaving the shopping center so you move it up to another level or move it down to another area of the shopping center and one of the other things that's on this list and I, I don't know I, I think I'd be kind of a nuisance if I called just because you think somebody's suspicious call 911 absolutely absolutely you know we always say you get that hair on the back of your neck yeah. something just doesn't seem right then it probably isn't we all have a good sense um, and we really encourage people if you don't want to call 911 it's not necessarily an emergency you just kind of got that creepy feeling um, get a good description of who's giving you that creepy feeling and call the non-emergency number uh, and we'll come out and, and you know we can stop and talk to them good. I want to thank you for being willing to come and sit in the sofa and share absolutely. some of these tips uh, the key is that be smart, plan ahead, absolutely. and do what you need. Now, last question. Okay. Something new? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, receipts. We are telling people, don't, when you buy your merchandise, take that receipt from that cashier and don't put it in your bag. You want to put it in your pocket, put it in your purse, and as you're leaving, if you do, unfortunately, become a victim of crime, someone comes running up and snatches that uh, package from you, they don't have your receipt because they could potentially go back into that store and try to get cash for those that merchandise. Wow. Think think about it. And that's the key. Bottom line is plan ahead. Plan ahead. Think safety mm -hmm. and have a happy And holiday. be aware of your surroundings. Absolutely. Yep. Thanks a lot, Joanne. Well, me. thank you. And on behalf of the police department, I appreciate you having us on and we hope everyone has a happy and safe season. Thanks a lot. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.